Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther, and this is an Art Deco pattern that basically it's made by Hopped Online. So I discovered this by accident, and I want to show you how it's done. Well, make sure you're on the stroke. This is the stroke. Uh, click on the fill if you have something on this fill. Let's say we have a color here, a green, and click on the none. So basically, this way it's going to disappear. Click on the stroke, so the stroke is going to be on the top. And then let's select the ellipse tool, which is located right here. The rectangle tool is usually on the top and select the ellipse tool. Press and hold shift plus alt to create a circle. And then select the direct selection tool, which is located right here. Select these two anchor points. Click on delete from here. I'm thinking to make this a little bit longer like this, okay? Make sure you select the stroke profile from here, from the stroke. If you don't have the stroke, go to Windows and select the stroke. It's going to appear something like this. And you just need to click on these arrows so you collapse the, you know, the options. So select the profile and select with profile 4. From here, we're going to select this. This is the reflection tool. Usually the, ro the rotation tool is on the top, so re reflection is on the bottom. Press and hold Alt, click on the center point, and click on a vertical. Click on Copy, right-click, Group, press and hold Alt, drag it upwards, press Control D until it creates a lot of co copies, and it should look something like that. I'm going to create a new copy. Go to Object, Expand Appearance, and now I'm going to unite it from here, from the Pathfinder. Click on Unite. If you don't have the Pathfinder, go to Windows and select Pathfinder. Usually, usually this option is not active. From here, I also gonna create a new circle. Select the circle again, and basically I'm gonna pull it where they intersect, create a circle, and there you go. I'm going to drag, press and hold shift also. Drag it somewhere around here. I'm going to decrease the opacity to see where. So basically, here's the circle's anchor points. And I want to pull that anchor point somewhere out, somewhere around where this effect ends or this decoration ends. I'm going to increase the opacity back to normal, select both. Plus, press Shift plus M, or you can also go to the Shape Builder tool, which is located right here. Press Shift plus M, press and hold Alt, and this way you can delete all the unnecessary part. And it is going to look something like this. It might be not the best, but I'm going to try and test this out. How it's going to look. So I'm going to go to Objects, Pattern, and Make. And from here, we're going to decrease the height. As you can see, they are. Yeah, it works. So the main idea for you is to test out which is the best and see how it's going to perform. I'm going to try it out this one. I'm going to click on done. Okay. From here, I'm going to create a new rectangle. I'm going to select the rectangle, press and hold shift. And test out the patterns. Let's see what we have. But this one is uh, pretty accurate, as you can see. Here they combine pretty nicely. And here they create this uh, empty space. Uh, you also can increase the size of the pattern by going to the object, transform, scale. Undo the transform object and increase this. You know, if you want to make it bigger or smaller. But anyways, this, thing, this uh, looks good uh, so far. As you can see, there's like a lot of incorrections going on inside. So I'm going to go to object, click on expand, click OK. And mainly they seem to be fixed, but you know, the main patterns still need to be cleaned out. Uh, and you know, 
remade again but uh you know as a reference for this one this is pretty solid so yeah this is it thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe if you're new on the channel and check out the other videos as well so yeah have a good one bye bye